Yeah. You're right. Ah. What a grab. Oh, yeah. Roll, 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 roll. I'm rolling. Over the past two years, we have produced more than 250 episodes on the Brave Wilderness Channel. And on each adventure, we do our best to get animals up close with the cameras. However, there are many animals that have eluded me over the years, including the largest frog species in Costa Rica, the Smoky Jungle Frog. Ah! That's what happened last Every time, time the Smoky Jungle Frog outs me! While visiting the Caribbean coast, we spent time exploring the dense rainforests of the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Preserve. This location was a prime habitat for these giant amphibians. Long night, battling rainstorms, and finally, it looks like we have a jungle frog that is not by its hole. But it is right next to a pond. If you can hear all those frogs croaking, this guy can literally leap off the embankment and into the water. My biggest challenge would be getting close enough to actually catch one. These frogs are very in tune with their environment and always have an escape route nearby that allows them to quickly avoid predators. Oh, oh. hold on. Jeez. All right, I'm out of here. Coming up. Ah. Yeah, well. Catching smoky jungle frogs it is about the hardest thing I've faced in quite some time here in Costa Rica. But do not fear, I will catch one. Oh, this is we continued searching into the night and traveled deeper into the jungle where we came upon a swampy lagoon. We do have another smoky jungle frog up here on the embankment. It is uh, definitely gonna be way more difficult to catch than even the last one. Let's move up slow with the lights. Let me see if I can give you a shot on him, Mark. He is, look at the eye shine up there underneath that branch. You see it? Where? Up underneath. Like, go, see this skinny log across the thick log? Look straight up from that on the embankment. See it dark right there? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is. He's right behind the leaf. Slippery. All right, I'm coming back. Hold on. All right, I'm just coming back. Hold on, two hands. Yes! Nice that grab. is a smoky jungle frog right there. Okay, we need to get out of this pond and into a controlled situation. Oh, what a slimy beast. Wow, okay, um, let's get this guy out of the pond and up onto the trail. I give you a high five, except my hand is covered in frog mucus. I appreciate that. Yes! All right. Wow, what a catch. Nice grab, man. Finally! Yes! Yeah. Not sure we could have gotten that one any better. What a grab. Oh, roll, 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 roll! I'm rolling. There it is! The famous sound that they make. Wow! <laughs> that is the alarm sound that we were home. Oh, I hear you! They are famous for making that loud croaking. Alarm sound, you hear that? Now, if you were a predator, you came in here and you grabbed a hold of this frog and it did that. That, it would be startling and you would likely drop the frog and it would escape. I, I hear you, yes. Wow, the vocal cords on that frog are incredible. Now, a secondary defense is you see all this mucus that is coming off of the frog's body. That is slightly toxic and it is actually burning really bad on my fingers right now. I have a couple of cuts. You can see it looks like foam. Now that mucus not only keeps the frog moist, but it also deters any potential predators. Oh, I know, I hear you little buddy. Now I'm not hurting the frog in any way whatsoever. You see it's puffing up its body. He's like a balloon right now. Yes, I know, but you have, have you not figured out that you've already been captured? 
Ja? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but oh, I'm so excited we caught this frog. Now they are incredibly strong. These back legs are solid muscle. Now, Mark, look at this frog's toes. What is it missing? Webbing? That's right, because this is a terrestrial species. Now, they're oftentimes living in burrows, and that is what these frogs have been escaping into all night, or up underneath root cavities. But this one was right on the edge of a pond, likely hunting, because they are ambush predators. And no wonder, look at how big it is. Wow, you are just a beast. Oh, it's incredible. Now, all amphibians have toxins in their skin. I've handled many amphibians on this trip to Costa Rica, but nothing has actually made my hands burn yet. And all of that foam in all the little small cuts on my fingers is stinging really, really bad right now. So I won't be able to hold on to the frog for too long, but what amazing coloration. Now, you can see how this frog looks just like the leaf litter. So if it was kind of down here on the ground, just hiding underneath things amongst the leaves. Now, during the day, they will do that. Just stay hidden on the forest floor. And you can see that very distinct camouflage on the back looks exactly like the cutouts in some of these leaves and the ferns. And if you lift the frog up, hit that little Oh, oh, he's squeezing me with those front arms. They're, oh, 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 oh. oh I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh. Man, he's slippery, isn't he? Unbelievably slippery. Well, oh, all that man, mucus. Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to let this one get away. <laughs> <laughs> this frog is definitely making us. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You got mud on your face. You got mud on your face. It's okay. Here, hold on, on a second. I've got a, yeah, you got got a bottle, bottle of water. water. Here we go. A little drink. There we go. And we have to switch off a little bit. I'm covered in mud, too. This probably isn't helping, but I want you guys to be able to see the beautiful camouflage of this frog's face. They are absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like a giant wood frog. There we go. It has gold in it. you, yes. Look at the eyes, amber and gold. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, hold on just a second longer. Now, I do believe this is a male because you can see on the fingers here, they have these little hooks and that helps them to hold on to the females during the breeding process. And actually during breeding season, the male's forearms get significantly bigger and one of their defense postures uh, and to defend their territories because they're very territorial, they will puff up their bodies, push their arms out like big bodybuilders and then defend their territory from other impressing males. Now here's something that's really interesting about the tadpoles of these frogs. Now they lay their nests in like a giant clump of foam and as the tadpoles are developing, the ones that grow quicker end up eating the smaller ones. So in a sense, this frog is a cannibal. Buddy, you eat your own kind, that's kind of crazy. Wow, <laughs> oh man, what a catch. And a second catch diving right there into the mud. Can you show us the legs? Oh, oh that's a risky game, but let me see what I can do here. Yeah, I like to see the, uh, the stripes. I do not want to lose the frog. Oh, 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 he's very slippery. Now, the mucus that he's secreting makes him even more slippery. That's that's about as far as I can show you right okay, there. Okay, cool. Does that help? Yeah. It really looks like tiger stripes. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Now, this is the largest frog species here in Costa Rica. They do get a bit bigger than this, but as compared to the ones we've seen tonight, this is an absolute giant. Look at that frog. What a night. It took us hours, but we finally managed to catch the one amphibian that has been eluding me every time I've been in Costa Rica, the Smoky Jungle Frog. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Oh. He's saying goodbye. I think he's ready to go. We're gonna set him down right here, and he's gonna plop all the way back down into the water. Oh, did you see that distance? That was awesome. What a night. If you thought catching the smoky jungle frog looked difficult, make sure to go back and watch the time I finally managed to get the spiny-tailed iguana up close for the cameras. Okay. Oh, definitely made a go at me there. Wow. And don't forget, subscribe to join the pack on our next adventure when I get dangerously close to the spectacled caiman. Coming this month, on the Brave Wilderness Channel. Got it, got it. Hold on a second. That is a huge game. Holy mackerel, okay.